Good morning. morning. Obviously, I am not Pastor Greg. (laughs) Pastor Greg's son, Anan, is sick. We found out yesterday, last night, so um, we're filling in. Uh, We want to make sure we give lots of prayers that Anan is better. And we're also praying for Maida, who is in Madagascar right now, uh, doing some uh, big, important work with her school, which is why... Greg is home, Pastor Greg is home with Anin because made us away as well. So it's just a combination of everything. Uh, so our sermon today will be a combination of Pastor Greg's words and my words. It will be interesting, <laughs> to say the least. So uh, as we begin, um, we begin with, uh, sorry, we begin with the confession we certainly begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. If, if you turn to page 117, you will find the confession, and if you would please rise. <clears throat> Most merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us, forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, if Jesus Christ was given to die for us, and for his sake, God forgives us all our sins. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ, and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We, be, we, will, sing, we will sing our opening hymn, which is 413, verses one and three.
grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. God of heaven and earth, before the foundation of the universe and the beginning of time, you are the triune God, author of creation, eternal word of salvation, life-giving spirit of wisdom. Guide us to all truth by your spirit, that we may proclaim all that Christ has revealed and rejoice in the glory he shares with us. Glory and praise to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. The first lesson is in Psalm 8. Our Lord, our Sovereign, how majestic is your name in all of the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and infants, you have founded a bulwark because of your foes to silence the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have established, what are humans that you, have, that you are mindful of them, mortals that you care for them? Yet you have made them a little lower than God and crowned them with your glory and honor. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the seas. O Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. This is the word of the Lord. 
The second reading is from 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 11 through 13. Finally, brothers and sisters, farewell. Be restored. Listen to my appeal. Agree with one another. Live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Great one another, greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. This is the word of the Lord. The Holy Gospel from Matthew chapter 28. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but they doubted. And Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. This is the gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. This is Holy Trinity Sunday. It's the only Sunday in the church year that we celebrate a church doctrine rather than the teaching of the part of the life of the ministry of the death and resurrection of Jesus. You know, Advent, Christmas, Lent. This is kind of one of those weird Sundays. Um, but if the Trinity is very liturgical because it's the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit throughout the Bible, but uh, it took a hundred years probably or more to figure out what that all meant. And there are still people who argue about it but God is one and three persons. When I was in seminary, I can tell you we went round and round and round about this, sometimes the round in three times, uh, and read many, many books about trying to figure out what this meant. But personally, I think the church has made it all too confusing and way too complicated, as what theologians do. But today, hopefully, I can make it simple. For me, the Trinity is just the fact that God uses everything he is to reach us and to tell us that we are loved, forgiven, and saved from now until eternity. Our Creator Father loved us into existence. He came to us as our brother, Jesus, to show us the unconditional love of our Father to forgive us, assure us of eternal life with him so that with the help of the Holy Spirit, we can get back to the work of his beloved people doing all that he has created us to do on earth. To get at that, we're going to focus on the second lesson, the one that we hear over and over and over again to the point that I don't think we even hear it anymore. Paul ended his letter, which was a tough letter, but ended with this blessing, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. It's powerful. He just didn't say, may the grace, love, and communion be with you. He dared to tell the Father, Son, and Spirit to give it. If God has promised you something, you can be so bold as to tell him to keep his word and give it to you. Well, now if you get struck by a bolt of lightning, you've asked for that, you might have gone a little too far. Not what we're talking about. But we can trust God's love, word, and promises. We can be less wimpy or less timid about our prayers and blessings. We can even tell God to bless, love, and forgive us and the people that we love. Paul told God to give us grace of Jesus Christ. I hear that both as a gift and a commission. 
We need the gift of grace from Christ Jesus. His forgiveness that we have been given before, I ask for it. I need it for everything I know I've done wrong and everything I have done wrong without knowing it. But it's also a commission. Paul told God to give us Jesus' grace so that we can be graceful like him, to be full of grace. So what does that mean? We talk about graceful people. You know graceful people, graceful dancers, graceful people who have graceful attitudes. We often say he or she is so graceful. Well, you know, we don't have to be all Fred Astaire's who can move on air, nor do we all have to be Mother Teresa who gives up their life for others. Thank God for that. Some of the most brash and blunt crushed Christians that I know are full of grace. We are full of grace. It's about humility and flow. Humility, I mean that people know they depend on grace, just like us. Some of the most graceful people have been the worst and seen the worst, and yet are graceful. I have to say, I do think of World War II. I've been watching um, a small light about Meep, who saved, who hid the Jew, who hid the Otto Frank family, and eight other people. She was very courageous. She was very graceful. Yet she stumbled a lot, but her courage and grace. She saw the worst and sometimes has been the worst and she did this heroic thing. It can, grace can flow out of us just because we cannot contain it. It comes out of joy, humor, and even some ribbing and satire. But it comes out of understanding or quiet listening. The grace of Jesus Christ be with you and in you all. The love of God, you can't do anything more to get the love of God. It's there. So it's also a commission that gives us both value and purpose to have and share God's love. God loved his creation into existence and wants us to love it like he does. The people, the animals, the critters, everything. Now, that doesn't mean we need to go out into the forest and live in a yurt and eat nuts and twigs. I mean, I'm not gonna do that. We don't need to do that. But we do need to care about creation. We, he, God created it. Step back and saw that it was good. God liked what he made. Then he put us here on earth to be his helpmates, his stewards to explore and to take care of each other and the universe. The love of God be with you all. So finally, the community, so finally, the community of the Holy Spirit be with us. Jesus promised as he left to send another advocate like him who had been with us forever. In the gospel, he promised his disciples all that would, all that Sorry, <laughs> that one of us, lo, I will be with you always till the end of the age. That promise is kept by the Spirit, even when we are at the lowliest and the loneliest. We are part of God's community, his family. He said, just as, my, just as Jesus, my son, you are mine. It's his promise he has been saying since the day of creation when the Spirit first hovered over the waters. God's spirit is an active connection and presence. You can think of God's spirits as God's arms, his voice in our prayers, anytime we hear that he loves, forgives, and sends us. And we are called to extend the same sense of welcome, forgiveness, and to bless one another as God has blessed us. Well, that's not very easy to do. And this is why our Christian life, 
with the Trinity is a truly a dance. And sometimes we dance well as partners, as you know, and sometimes we blow it. We trip, we step on toes, we, well, you know, you just don't always, you're not that graceful, we step on each other. We need the forgiveness already given. At the same time, we are always called, like the disciples, to immediately be offering all the same to all of creation, God's people and ourselves. So ultimately, the Trinity, it's a come, join, bless, and join the dance. But ultimately, it is a blessing. And it is blessing one another. So when we bless, I have a favorite blessing. I use it a lot, because it's my favorite, but I like it, and I, I use it a lot. And ultimately, this is about God blessing us, blessing one another. So may the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face shine upon us. May the Lord look upon us with favor and give us peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed found on page 127 in the front of your hymnal. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the, On the third day, day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Trusting in God's abundant mercy, let us offer our prayers for a world in need. Holy Three, Holy One, you call the church to make disciples of all nations. Encourage bishops, pastors, and deacons in their proclamation of the gospel and direct all the baptized into lives of humble service. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy Three, Holy One, you have given humankind authority over the earth. Raise up leaders who listen earnestly Speak honestly and govern thoughtfully. Heal divisions between nations, that we might agree with one another and live in peace. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Holy Three, Holy One, you promise to be with us always. 
to end of the age. Surround those most in need of your healing presence. Any who are lonely, all who are grieving, and those who are sick, especially we ask this. Prayers for all veterans and all who have gone to God's heavenly kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy Three, Holy One, you give rest when our work is done. We give thanks for names and all the saints who now rest in you, confident in the promise of resurrection, life in the age to come. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Receive our prayers and answer us, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And also with you. Let us take time to share the peace with one another. God's peace. Lord have mercy. God's peace. Was that okay? Yeah. Didn't, was it okay? Okay. God's peace. Was it okay? It's half of his was his So I believe most of the announcements are in the bulletin. The biggest one that we have is the um, 
yard sale that's coming up on the 17th of June. Does someone want to kind of talk about that? Maybe Marilyn, yeah. That's okay. <laughs> Any other announcements? Yeah. Yes, and remember, if you bring your own stuff and your own table, whatever doesn't sell at your table goes home with you. Okay, that was made really clear to me that we understand that. Okay. So that's great that this is going to be happening, and uh, I just want to highlight just a couple things. Uh, just let's keep on in Pastor Greg's son in our prayers that he, I think he's passed this 24 hours uh, stomach flu, but we want to make sure, and um, prayers for Maida as she is in Madagascar, and she'll be traveling home, I believe, on the 8th, is what I'm told. So prayers for her safe travel, and um, there have been... I guess three people who have tested positive for COVID. Now that's not 300, okay? It's three people. Uh, we know that the state of emergency has gone away, but COVID is still with us and probably will be. Um, we send prayers. I don't know who the three people are, but they're from our congregation, just prayers for healing and that their symptoms are mild and that they heal. Um, and uh, that it remains low infection rate. That's what we want, low infection rate of everyone. So let us continue our service with our offering and this offering of music.
Holy God, gracious and merciful, you bring forth food from the earth and nourish your whole creation. Turn our hearts toward those who hunger in any way, that all may know your care, and prepare us now to feast on the bread of life. Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. betrayed our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take and eat this is my body given for you do this for the remembrance of me again after supper he took the cup gave thanks and gave it for all to drink saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin do this for the remembrance of me as much as we eat this bread and drink this wine, we are bold to pray the prayer God taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All are welcome at the Lord's table. The body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. Blood of Christ shed for you, the blood of Christ shed for you. given for you the body of Christ 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 given for you 
body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. Body of Christ given for you. The 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 body of Christ given for you. given for you the body of Christ 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 given for you body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. stand. Receive this blessing. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Amen. thanks almighty God that you have refreshed us through the healing power of this gift of life in your mercy strengthen us through this gift in faith toward you and in fervent love toward one another for the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord amen, amen. may the Lord bless us and keep us may the Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us May the Lord look upon us with favor and give us peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We sing our closing hymn, 412.
Thanks be to God. 